Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we learn about how to handle the missing values. Basically, the intention of this video is to show you the technical aspects of uh, how to uh, handle missing values using the KNN uh, imputer and iterative imputer. Like I'll show you how to uh, how to use the KNN imputer using the SKLN and the fancy impute library and, sim and similarly I will also show you how to use the iterative imputer using the SKLN and the fancy impute library. In my previous video I have already explained in detail uh, the maths behind the KNN imputation and in my upcoming videos I will be explaining about the maths behind the uh, iterative imputers. Okay, so in this session, I am not going to touch the math behind the KN or, or the iterative, it's just the technical how we will use it. Okay, so let's start. What I will do, I have a, I will import a pandas data set, and then after that, what I will do, I have a diabetes data set wherein I will check first of all the missing values in my data set. And this data set is there which has the several columns like the pregnancy column, glucose level, diastolic BP count, skin fold and different. So if you can see here, there are five columns which has the missing values because the count, the sum of is a function is throwing me the different values greater than zero. How do we handle this? So what I will do, I will simply create df computer underscore knn via sklearn. Okay, I'll just create this uh, and and what I will do, I, I am creating and then I'll say df.copy and where deep is equal to two. Deep is equal to two is there's some concept called shallow uh, copy and deep copy. I will cover that in the other video. Okay, so I'll just give deep is equal to two and then if, if I give df underscore We can see that it's a simple, uh, simply the data set, data frame is being copied. Now what we will do, first of all, I will implement the KNN imputer using the sklearn.impute library. Okay, so we'll execute and, uh, and then what we'll do, we'll create our KNN imputer object. And, we will, and uh, what I will do, I'll give the number of neighbors as three. This neighbors value, it depends basically how my, what is the accuracy of my imputer is working. So it's up to you. I'm just giving three here. After this, df underscore dot i lock. And then what I will do here, I will I will use the object of KNN imputer. Okay. And then I'll do the fit underscore trans. And then inside this, I will pass my, the data set, the original, uh, this is the same data set. Okay. Okay. So my null values will be gone if i get this value okay df underscore dot if i print this so here i don't see any null values now to further validate this i will say df underscore computer scalar dot is na dot sum our null values is gone so the very first method of sklearn dot impute we have covered this okay after this from sklearn dot impute import canon imputer we have remove the null values using this method after this we'll use the fancy impute method and how we'll import the can how we will achieve this okay so let's see so we'll say from fancy impute import can k nearest neighbors okay and then we'll create an object of can okay and then uh, mention that can answer underscore fancy imputer which is like reasonable name for this and what i will do i will also copy df uh, underscore imputer underscore fancy Impute, which is equals to once we uh, we need to we'll say df dot copy because I I don't want to disturb my original data set and we'll pass a deep is equal to true so if we execute this df underscore so you can say there are still null values are present now we need to use our object of the fancy impute knn imputer and uh, knn imputer from fancy impute and let's remove the null values so what we will do here we'll say df underscore Computer underscore and then we'll execute this so now you can see here the null values is gone after this what I will do I will simply uh, check the null value and you can see the null values is gone it is not present at all okay now after this what I am trying here I will use using the mice okay I will use the fancy imputer iterative imputer from fancy impute so how it will work I'll create the, uh, I'll copy df underscore. So what I'll say df dot copy 
will execute this okay now if i say df underscore you can see there are null values and what i am going to do i will simply i'll create an object because i am this iterative imputer what i am doing is i am importing dot fancy impute right so i'll say i'll create an object and then i will simply apply it on this data set okay the data set which i have created here so i'll say df underscore imputer underscore which is and then i'll apply iloc which is equals to the object of my iterative imputer is iterative imputer dot fit underscore transform and then it will be applied on df underscore okay it will be applied on this one now the moment we apply this and if i check the value of execute this you can see the null values is gone okay so till now i have covered how to use knn imputers from sklearn.impute then i have shown you how to use just knn from fancy impute after that i have shown you how to use the iterative imputer from fancy impute and then after this i am showing you how to use the iterative imputer from sklearn.impute so we will execute this from sklearn.impute import iterative imputer and i will say sql df dot okay df underscore imputer underscore iterative imputer underscore sklearn which is equal to df dot copy okay so that i can differentiate between different data sets okay and then we'll pass deep is equal to true after this i'll simply create an object of iterative imputer from sklearn dot impute and then we need to apply this object so that we remove the null value so i'll say df underscore and then if you check the value of okay so you can see here the null values is gone now i don't want to make this video more complicated and uh, so in one of my coming videos i'll show you the accuracy when we use the different not only the knn or iterative i'll also show you the example of the simple imputers okay when we uh, what will be the accuracy of my model when we use a simple imputer with the strategy of mean median mode or constant value or when we are using the the knn imputer or when we are using the uh, the iterative imputer okay so i so i'll come up very soon with those video and in my next video most probably i'll be coming up with uh, something like the mathematics behind the iterative imputers wherein we'll uh, fill the missing values by using the regression model okay so so in this session what we have done we have covered the knn imputers and we have covered the technical aspects of the knn and the impute and the iterative imputers so i'll see you in my next video thank you